beginning to worry something might have gone wrong. By yep. the bishop's bones, you saw it. Now, out with it, man. What happened? Made by dwarf marauders. Came across the current. Wrote by Vordwoken. Now I'm just gonna tell them the truth. Dwarves. The pox on those bearded devils. Oh crap. Raymond, that old goat. Always suspected as much. That's not good. With dwarves and meets the eye. Hate to admit it, but I think he may be right. No, I didn't mean to turn the dwarves on him. Too many things have gone wrong along Reaper's coast to attribute to bad luck. Magister ships sinking, weapons disappearing, and as you've seen, a caravan attacked and destroyed. Rumor has it the Dwarvian Queen herself is behind these acts of sabotage. That is what I want you to prove. I expect the dwarves. They've always been snakes in the grass. Cheap labor, sure. And hard workers, too. Half of them are their queen's spies. Her eyes, her ears, her poison pouring hands. You know what Queen Justinian is like, surely. A tyrant and a master strategist to boot. All right. Uh, if I'm going to prove this, you got to tell me where to start looking. Thug, Loha. He runs an operation out of his hideout beneath the Black Bull Tavern. I suspect this man of being a spy for the queen. It may be interesting to have a word with him. Find out what he's up to. Where I really want you to ferret around is Reaper's Bluffs, to the west of Driftwood. It's wild territory, remote and hostile, where I believe the dwarves may have set up a base of operations away from prying eyes. Should you find any such place, and better yet, proof that Lohar is working on behalf of Queen Justinia, you will be handsomely rewarded, I assure you. In that case, go forth and let the hunt commence. In short, travel west in search of a dwarven base of operations in the treacherous Reaper's Bluffs. Should any such place exist, it would be very opportune indeed should you stumble across any correspondence between Lohar and Queen Justinia. Can't describe it to you any plainly than that. Cool. Got away without starting a fight. Uh. I'm all right as long as I don't think about it too much. I'm gonna. All right, there's another marker over here. The fuck? Oh, looked out of the game. Whoa, okay, this area is huge. The doggo! Come on, leave the dog. Hackles raised. The dog barks at the sand built up beneath the building. What are you barking at? There's something not right, and that's wrong. It's under the house thing there, and it's bad. I can smell it. Everything smells bad here. This, this smells real bad. This smells evil. Where is he sniffing? I thought it was under the house. Will it trigger something if I... Maybe I can find a... Maybe not. Oh, I didn't think I'd be able to walk there. Oh, we forgot to talk to the beggar. I'll talk to the doggo. Rusty. The dog lies there quietly, clearly in great pain. What are you looking at? I'm sick of you. Get lost. What ails it? Pain in the neck. You got a bad pain in the neck. Your hand upon its neck. A low, threatening growl builds within its throat. Slide your hand beneath its studded collar. Under the collar, you find the sharpened points of metal rivets gouging the poor dog's skin. The dog bears its teeth at you and growls. 
Tell the dog that you can heal its pain. It must trust me. The dog gives you a long, hard stare, but does not bite you yet. Turn the collar inside out. The dog goes to bite your hand, and then realizes the pain is gone. Hey, I feel okay. Hey, we helped Thanks. this doggy. Think I'll wander off now. Here, for a go. What can I do to show my gratitude? He made of gold his customer. Friendly pat on the head and turn away. Who'd put that collar on you? Oh, was it you? I don't know if he knows what he means. Tell the dog the payment. You know what he means. Uh, wait a minute. Master hurted me. Excuse me a minute. I'm gonna go now. But first, I have a thing I need to do. He turns to his. Master. I hope he bites him. You bad man, you. <laughs> You yeah, jerk! Kick your ass. Penny for a grievy beggar whose dog ran away. Should I say? Can I? Is this? I wonder if this is sarcasm. Be like, what am I clever on? I'm gonna do that. God damn it! That was my livelihood. Penny for a grievy beggar. I reckon I'm owed it here. Yeah. Tell the people what you did. You wouldn't do that, would you? Oh, yes. You would do that, wouldn't you? I couldn't prevail upon you to change your mind, could I? I don't want to take half his earnings because because of the dog. No, you hurt the dog. Screw you. I'm taking all of it. You a cool look, then rummages in his pocket. He hands you the contents. That's your look. Go on then. Get lost, you freeloader. I'm really? I'm the freeloader? You didn't give me all your money. Penny for a grievy beggar whose dog ran away. Keep your gold. Hey, get out of the way. Penny for a sick dog, people. Go on. What a jerk. Not happy with you, sir. Oh, what is this? Driftwood. Save. Magister. Startled, the guard leaps backwards and reaches for her weapon. She locks eyes with yours before releasing the grip on her blade's hilt. Surprise me like that! Sabrina! How are you doing? Hello, Welcome to the stream! Friend. Thanks for dropping in. Why are you so on edge? I tell you appreciate your hard work takes her on edge, but she doesn't take it to the townsfolk. Yep. I know. But everyone's on edge here. Void walk and flock to these parts like crows to carry him. English homework. I'm doing just fine. Please let me know if something weird is happening on stream. We had all sorts of problems yesterday. He means the place is rigid as stone. I did see you logged in right as stream ended yesterday. That's a bummer. Ayla McNate. Oh, there's another one. Magister's dropping left and right. Can't say I'm shedding any tears. There's a sign here. Driftwood, home of the Black Bull Tavern. Where is it? Where is it? Sir, please, have you seen a small burlap pouch lying about? I can help she you look. Up at you in surprise. Her great greenish gold eyes sparkle and she rubs a palm over her smooth head, seemingly confused. You'd... You'd help me. <laughs> the Prozing Beauty nod. I'll keep an eye out, but I have one matters to attend to. Ah, uh, this should probably be short, right? 
Where should I start looking? Oh, she's happy. She takes your hand. I know, I know. What a crybaby I am. Dashing June. Just, you're so kind. It's been a difficult day. The pouch. I really must find it back, or my master will flay me alive. It had quite a sum inside it. Whoa. Master yes, Raymond, he bade that me ass monkey to purchase supplies for his journey, but I dropped it along the way. He's sure to think I stole it. She tilts her head back and blinks back tears. I'd never do such a thing. Never. Let's keep an she eye out. She reaches out as though to shake your hand, but stumbles, falling a little into your arms. She laughs, embarrassed, and quickly writes herself. As she pushes off of you, she reaches lightly into your pouch. She yep. stands up, straightens herself, and skillfully tucks some of your gold coins into her waistband. I was going to say, what if she's lying to me like she's looking for someone else's stuff? Yeah, I'm going to call her out. <gasps> Lucian's legs. No one's ever felt me lift him off him. You're good. Nimble has a wallet and a tutu. I'm gonna do that a lot. Takes a good thief to know one. Ain't that the truth? So? No. Eat the gold? Come on. I really do need it. Swearsies. You let a thief make off with your money. What do you need I it for? Really wanna know? Yes. The magisters took the love of my life down to Fort Joy. Did you hear they're they're turning sorcerers? Into I kind of don't believe her. I don't know if it's true, but I'm not gonna wait to find out. I'll die before I let him do that to Butter. <gasps> butter. So I need money. Oh my God, Butter! For a boat, for a crew. Enough to bribe someone into letting her go. I'll find a way. Yes. I'm gonna bring up butter. I met her. Then starts to visibly tremble. A tear rolls down her cheek. You met her? Really? How was she? Was she healthy? What'd she say? What'd you say? How did she seem? Uh. Uh. I don't want to do one or two. Under the protection of camp boss. This sounds assholey. Although it might help her move on. Let's do this one. Really? She told you to meet her in arcs. Mentioned the two of you had a special connection, right? Funny lass. Pulling that old scheme even in a prison camp. It's a good thing you didn't, bub. She would have robbed you blind. Mm -mm. You, you seem like a good sort. And this is the first news I've heard of my gal in far. Give me my money back. Gone. Take these, eh? They're yours. And your gold back, too. Thank you. Your other marks in the sea. What'd she give Luck me? To you. All right, she gave me my money back. And some other stuff, apparently. What did you give me? You gave stuff to all my characters. Oh, holy crap. She gave me fancy gloves. No. This would be great for Bane, but he has no finesse. It said it went into... So confused. Dude. All 
All right, send that to uh, Fane. We need to get you two points in finesse, my dude. So is she actually telling the truth about looking for something? This place is huge. Look, another marker. Uh, Meister's house. That sounds like that's progressing the story. We're going to wait. There's a... You ran into a door again. You have, like, the worst luck when it comes to doors, Sabrina. Surrounded uh, by incompetence. I hi. I'm watching you, stranger. Okay. Watch away. How about you? I need those reports out. Right away. The Magister startles, realizing there's a stranger in his midst. What do you want? You can't just come in here as you please. There's Magisters missing. I'm trying to conduct a bloody investigation. I'm gonna soldier on, and then if he questions me, I'll show him that piece of paper. Mm. Good to hear someone cares about our missing uniforms. If we don't find the culprit soon, I feel we'll lose another good recruit. There was a mention of a yes, fugitive. A vile little tinkerer goes by the name of Higba. Doors don't like you. <laughs> have gone missing of late from right here in Driftwood. All signs are that Higba is responsible. Well... What makes him the suspect him? Greed gave him away. He was peddling items that belonged to those missing from our ranks. He saw my men before they could seize him and fled. Is there a reward? Catching, killing, I don't care. There'll be gold for whoever puts an end to this rat. If you see anything, tell me or my men at once. Otherwise, keep the hell out of our way. Well, do you know anything? Stop wasting my time then. You have anything to sell? Nope. Alright, let's go upstairs. Magister bow. Garbage. I'm on a cautionary pamphlet. You better not fall asleep on your watch again. Oh, great, a citizen. Can't you see I'm on a break here? Do you see this one? He's chomping on her tongue. Well, maybe not her tongue, her, her teeth are chomping. It's pretty rich to be on a break with Void Walker prowling around outside town. I'm gonna say that. Close her eyes and pins you with a bitter stare. You ever seen a Void Woken up close? I have. Dirty escaped with my life. I'll show her the scars. She raises her eyebrows, clearly impressed, despite herself. It's always sorcerers. They get into every nook and cranny and lure those void woken out. As if anticipating a negative response, she holds up her hands. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm sure life's no picnic for them either. But I've heard it all before. We've got a whole realm to protect and sorcerers just can't be trusted. She nods at you curtly and turns away. Head nodding drowsily, the Magister brings her voluminous sleeve up to her face. She sniffs loudly and suddenly jerks to attention, eyes red-rimmed with zeal and something else. You're on drugs. Take me on a worse. I'm, I'm ready for anything. See, I have accepted. It, well, I'm ready. That's what matters. Vigilance. Wiping spit off from your cheek. Yeah, I'm a soldier. She laughs an unpleasantly brittle crackle. Sleep is for the weak. Weak! You just wait indeed. You'll fall into it like all the others. Not me. Never me! You're gonna have a heart attack. 
Crazy lady. Oh, dude. Look at it. 